What's up, Sagittarius? Welcome to your vibes. Whenever you are coming across this video, that is when it's meant to find you. First of all, the main thing I'm getting is Sagittarius right now. Whatever you're doing, drop it. I need you to breathe in and breathe out. Okay, that's what I was getting. I was getting just breathe. Just breathe. Like you're making it through. You're on your course. But those Sagittarius who are chosen, this is part of your process. Okay. You're making it to a time where I'm getting your flock is really going to be making itself known. And what I mean by your flock is I mean like your, your, your following. You, Sagittarius, if you're under the sound of my voice, you're being called for leadership. But it's not just, oh, you're being called for leadership, okay, and, and that's it, like it's always been. This is a new mission, a new task. Because at this time, you're being called to lead the people into the promised land. So you got your own bit of stuff going on in the background, I'm saying. But at the same time, that calling, that calling, that calling, that calling, something is calling you, a dream is calling you, and that dream that you uh, put the energy into is going to have you have a following. And these people are going to be able to achieve great things because you achieve great things. It's kind of like their calling is on hold because your calling is calling and you have to go answer okay they can't answer their phone until you answer your phone and some of you all this means like your children or your grandchildren or your family or the people in your community or actual platforms okay so you're being called to some type of leadership which you've probably been leading for a long time anyway but this is being called to take them on in okay joshua seasons time for them to march into the promised land but you're going to be the one to lead them in Okay, so let's see what we got for the Oracle, and then we're going to see what we get in our spread. All right, we're starting here, and we're taking it over to Patreon. First card up, oof, death. It says, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Some of y'all have to surrender. A man told, just surrender, just let it go. Some of y'all don't even want to accept your calling. You don't even want to accept that God keep giving you these visions. He keeps saying, it's time, it's time. And it's like, it hurts. It's like, I don't want to give up my life. I don't want to do this now. I don't want to, I don't want to be that. I don't want to be the leader. I don't want to be the one to have to walk all these people to the promised land. For some of y'all, I'm feeling like it's just so much pressure. It's giving you anxiety. It's giving you stress. It's like, how am I supposed to do this thing? God, stop giving me these visions. They're too big. They, they, these dreams, they're just too much. And that's, that's you crumbling because you're getting ready to surrender. It's like, okay, I'm going to keep giving you these dreams. I'm going to keep putting these visions in your face. You're going to be driving. Your mind going to drift off to you living this dream and doing that, having this and leading these people and, you know, opening that business. And you got to surrender. It's real. It's real, Sagittarius. It's you. You can't believe it. No, God, no, no. It's not me. No, no. Stop, stop. It's you. It's surreal. When you have to drop this, I came and I won't, and, and you really actually have to step into the power that God gave you, it's so real because supernatural things start to happen and it's, it becomes undeniably clear. And I'm just feeling so almost anxious for you, like Sagittarius, let's go. What's the next card? Oh, regret. Sad. Okay, it says, I know that I cannot change the past. So I said, I don't want to give up my lifestyle. I don't want to do this. I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to be the leader. I tried this before it didn't work out. I did this before it didn't work out. There's some things that you have in your past that you have to surrender. You have to accept, total acceptance. Uh, I'm going to give you an example. The other week, Lizzo did a show and she, she had on a leotard, no drawers, no stockings, and she opened her leg wide as she could in a full split for the whole audience to see. And to me, it was kind of like her F you moment to the world, right? Like, I surrender. I got this between my legs. I don't, I don't look like no supermodel, but you know what? I love me. I surrendered to my calling. I surrendered to the fact that they're going to talk about me like a dog. But you know what? I'm going to talk about me like a, like a queen or a king. It's not about what they say. It's about what I believe. So F the world. And guess what? Some people talked about it like a dog, and some people me like me was like, right on. Surrender. This is who I am. You don't like it, get away from me. But I'm not compromising who I am to make you comfortable no more. Because guess what? I'm uncomfortable. 
I'm uncomfortable shrinking myself down to make you feel better because God keep calling me, keep calling me, keep pressing me, keep showing me these visions, keep giving me these dreams, and I'm dumbing myself down so that I don't make you feel bad. I told God my dreams, and he told me to dream bigger. But be warned, your success going to be somebody's trip. Okay? So you're going to have to let go. Some of y'all even in regret because you know, oh, man, I could have did this. I should have I should have been like Lizzo and just spread my legs for everybody to see. But I didn't. I was scared because they was going to talk about me like a dog. So what? You can't change the past, but you can create the future. So Sagittarius, I'm going to you stand up out of that regret. Surrender what you didn't do. Surrender what you feel like you passed up. Stick to spread eagle, wide eagle, and go do you, okay? We live in a world of do effing you, baby. And if I don't like it, oh, well, too bad. Okay, anyway, next oracle, trust. Hello, that I can do what I want to do, and I can be who I want to be, and I am the person that God called me to be. Yeah, those visions are true. Yeah, these dreams are real, and I really, it's really, really happening. This is surreal. Oh my God, this is freaky. Look at all this supernatural stuff happening. I'm jumping on the street, all these synchronicities. I'm thinking a thought, and as soon as the radio say that word, then we'll build more with the exact word. Yeah, all of that is really happening. It's real. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Woo, Sagittarius. You got to let it go. You got to accept it, baby. You got to accept it. You have been called. You have been chosen. Whether you like it or not, people can be mad if they want to. Oh, my past. Look at me. I'm not qualified. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I let it pass me up. Oh, I made mistakes. People are mad at me. Still called. Still chosen. The Knight of Swords. This is like a harsh reality. Sometimes life comes at you fast. And it's like a harsh reality. But some of you guys, I'm getting like something came in and it was a stab and it was almost like a, a death. And then you went into some type of regret. But what God is saying is trust me. This is part of it. This is part of the course that I laid for you because I need you to learn some things because I'm getting ready to put you in a position of power. As one of my chosen, I need you to understand certain things. So when I give you this flock to lead, I can trust you to lead them right based on the fact that you've been through some things. Okay? So I know I know how to lead you because I've already been down that route. I've already been down that path. I've already had to overcome stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So you are going through what you're going through because it's going to make you a better man in the future. It's going to make you a better woman in the future. Sometimes it takes these stabs and these jabs. Sometimes it takes the feelings of regret and feelings of death just so that you can really become greater. Okay? You shouldn't have asked to be great because this come with it. Let's see what it's crossed by. Ooh, the four of swords. Now remember, what we what do we start with? We start with a deep breath. Come on through it again. Breathe in. Breathe out. This is part of the course. And guess what? There's a time to fight and there's a time to surrender. This four source talk about, I want to refuel you. I want to give you some more energy. So even though it feels counterproductive, I need you to rest. Even though you want to get up, you're a Sagittarius. You, you, you're the wand. You're the action of the Zodiac. When they say lights, camera, and then action, that's when Sagittarius come in on the force. You, you about that movement. You about that action. So when God tell you to sit down and be still, that's tough. Because you think you're doing something wrong. Whole time, God is refueling you. I think of the Gemini I was just telling on Patreon, imagine the old charges on 28%. You got a long way to go. You got 28%. You might want to let that phone charge to 100% so you can get further without having to pull over, without having to figure out, oh, no, my phone died in the middle of the trip, and I don't know where I'm going, right? You need that GPS. Um, I'm also seeing it like you're being refueled. Like, let's say you're on a, de you're on a trip, you're on a destination, you're trying to get to where you're going, um, and your tank is almost empty. It's like you got the opportunity to go to the gas station right now and fill up. But if you get all the way out there in that desert, you might not run into a gas station for a couple hours. 
and you might run out of gas. So God is trying to prevent you from running out of gas in the future while he's refueling you now, okay? So take your rest. Now, the crazy part about it is, as I was talking, the 10 of, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, not the 10. The Wheel of Fortune jumped over. It is a 10 card. Uh, so some type of completion. Things are turning around. Remember, we got the death card. So when one thing ends, something else begins. So whatever it fit, you feel like you've lost or whatever it is that was messed up, it's like something new is beginning, like a new hope, okay? Things are turning around in your favor. Um, also, what I'm getting with this, I don't know if you can see that, but you see this uh, man right here, and then you see this young lady behind him, and she has his, her hand on his shoulder. And remember, I told you, you're about to lead people into the promised land. And I would just, this was just highlighted for me to show you how that's working. So... You're leading people into the promised land, and it's like, I got to get you, I got to get, God said, I got to get your mind right. I got to get you refilled. I got to get you out of this state of regret, right? I need you to hype back up again, right? So you get back on that horse and ride it, and that's what's about to happen. So maybe something is coming in. Maybe it's something that's coming in for you that's really going to set your heart ablaze, okay? Let's talk about the past, Let's talk about the past. I'm going to pull one card for the past, and then we're going to take it over to Patreon. Whoa, the past. Stagnant, stuck, two of swords. Things came to a halt. Things, it's like maybe something was going, and it just power just stopped, okay? So whatever this halt was, it was for your benefit. It's like stop, hold on, take a break, breathe, begin ready to walk them into the promised land. But before you go in, I need for you to be fueled up okay so we're gonna continue this over on um patreon yeah just keep holding on Sagittarius. keep holding on it's i'm getting to tell somebody your life is worth living it's it's a good life it's a life worth living regardless of your mistakes regardless of the things in the past just stick around for a little while okay stick around things will change seasons always change nothing stays the same forever so if you're going through this now, your good news is, well, yeah, some of y'all feel like it, it can't get no worse than this, right? So that means only better is on the way. So that's what we're going to end it right here. Guys, make sure you get a tune with the book. Yeah, that dream work with the journal link in the description box all over Amazon, which means if you're in the UK, if you're in a whole nother wherever, you can get the book, okay? Um... This is going to help keep you mindful about the things that you want to achieve, okay? Those dreams. Yeah, that dream. Go ahead and pursue it because it wants you probably just as bad as you want it, okay? So that's where I'm going to end it. We're going to go over to Patreon. We're going to send these vibes and see what else is going on. All right, Sagittarius? Make sure you guys follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see y'all uh, either over on Patreon. And if not, I'll see y'all in the next video.